This is a failed micro switch from a DeWalt DW735 thickness planer. And the way this is supposed to work is that when the lid is placed on the, the planer, it closes the circuit and allows electricity to, to flow onto the motor. When the lid is removed from the planer, for example, if you're changing knives, it opens the circuit and stops the flow of electricity. That way you don't get, uh, get your hands torn off. And this was working great, except for when it all of a sudden just started working in reverse order, or at least gradually started working in reverse order. So when the lid was on the planer, the planer would not start. And when the lid was removed, the planer would start. I diagnosed this before and I was pretty close, but I was a little bit off in some things. So I'm gonna go over this again and give you the correct answer. Uh, right off the bat, you notice it on the bottom there. There's some melted plastic and also down here. And this is the area where the plastic around the, uh, the terminal connector on the end of the wire was also melted. So this area right here is where the most heat was building up in that entire circuit on that planer, at least that I've found so far. And uh, when, the, when the switch was depressed, it would stick in this position and it wouldn't, wouldn't click anymore until I tapped it with a hammer. And then it would go back up and then I could click it once again and it would stick. So I was thinking that maybe something got caught down here. Um, and the reason that's relevant is that if you look at that connector there, or that contact, you can see that it's shinier on that side and duller on the left side. Uh, so the shinier part is probably more conductive electricity, and the left side is acting more as an insulator. The same on that piece right there. So when the switch was sticking, it would rotate, when you remove the lid, it would rotate to the shiny part that was conducting electricity. And when you put the lid back on, it would rotate to the part that had an insulator in between the contacts. So that is pretty much right, but what I was wrong about was the reason that it was sticking. And that is not, not because of anything that was going on here, that was actually down here where we should have been looking with the melted plastic. Let's see if I can take this piece out again without it exploding again. There is a, uh, a little nub right there that is very important to the functionality of this switch. And uh, you can see that the plastic melted there and that opening expanded a little so that when I put this back inside, there's a little bit of side to side motion there. And that also allows that nub to go past where it's supposed to go and up into the switch housing a little bit. So the reason that matters is because so if you have the, the, the wire connector on here, and let's say the wire is just pushing up just a little bit. When you push the switch down, it makes that slide up a little bit. And then there it is. That is the exact behavior that was happening when the switch was still in the planer. So you take the lid off and the connector, the contact rotates to the shiny side that was conducting electricity. When you put the lid back on, it rotates to the side where the insulator was preventing the flow of electricity and then you tap it with a hammer and that thing snaps back down until the next time that you uh, put the lid on or uh, depress the switch, it snaps back up again. So uh, once the plastic melts, and this, again, this melted because this planer draws a lot more than 15 amps if you're doing heavy work with it. And um, this switch is probably only rated for 15 amps. Uh, these are using like microwave oven doors and things like that. Uh, anything that has a door that's supposed to prevent the machine from turning on when it's open. But it's the wrong thing for this planer. And if DeWalt hasn't already come up with a replacement for this, they should. Or just remove it because it's absolutely unnecessary. Uh, anyway, there it is.